So this video is gonna be exciting. How to start with virtual production. The easiest way, cheapest way, with the best results. I promise. You can already see I have one tracking sensor in the hand, but this is just the beginning, what I will share with you in this video. So first of all, let's change uh, the camera to my, um, so let's put the sensor to the side. Um, this is my, my virtual camera. I, of course, have also here my intro move. <laughs> um, so what I'm about to share with you here is when I share my screen, really the best way to start with virtual production. Of course, we start in Unreal Engine. Maybe you have seen this scene before here. This is a bar scene and we have a moving camera and we have a change of focus right now here. I'm in focus right now. Well, that's not the final shot, but then the focus changes to the girl in the background. Yeah, and in the final version, it's a very uh, smooth change of focus. The thing is, there is no tracking system in use for this scene. I'm only using two virtual cameras and in Unreal Engine, it looks like this. It's really like here, this 2D plane, it disappears when I move too far to the side. And how I built this was very easy. So I took a plane from the left side. Um, I drag it into the level. Well, I reposition it a little and change the size to um, 16 by nine because this is the video format. And then on top of this plane, I apply, applied my green screen footage. So here, this is how it looked like. I dragged the, the green screen footage into the level, position it, and then I keyed out the green. And this is something that I call, this is the plane workflow with virtual cameras in Unreal Engine. You can focus 100% on the basics of virtual production with Unreal Engine. Also, when you want to work with an LED wall later. The thing is, this is totally for free. Well, of course you need some assets and you need Unreal Engine and a good gaming PC, but that's it. You can use your camera. You, can, you don't need to buy a tracking system. You don't need to buy Vive trackers or whatever. And this is definitely the best way to start with Unreal Engine. When you start with Unreal Engine and virtual production, we have to think about so many things. And it's much too much um, to start with the tracking system as well. So I started with the tracking system. I, I had the Vive trackers. I got the Vanishing Point system for virtual production. And over the last um, around two years, I spent a little more than a thousand hours trying and figuring out with all different workflows. I tried tw um, 11 different workflows for Unreal Engine and virtual production. And this workflow is by far the one, the cheapest one, the one that you get the best results, easiest to learn, and also the fastest one. But that's not all, because of course I have some Vive trackers here. I have one Vive tracker here. I have um, um, another uh, sensor that you saw at the very beginning here. And um, let me show you, you know, when I share my screen again, um, I select now another camera, another cinema camera, this one. And you can already see here, this camera is moving, um, but my wife tracker here is not connected to the camera, um, uh, to, to a real camera, to my real camera. It's just the virtual camera. And if you say, hey, no, the first approach is too boring, just having like a keyframes animated because this is what you do here at the bottom. Um, you have your sin here, this is the camera, and then you set some keyframes with start and end positions, and uh, you adjust the focus here as well. I mean, you can do a lot, but this is just keyframing. If you say, no, that's not for me, I want to have something in my hand, I want to have handheld shots, and these are more on the harder side to keyframe. Well, it's possible it's on the harder side. You just take this wife track here on top of my rack, and, um, of course, you can stand up or you stay and keep sitting and then make this nice handheld shot. I mean, this is by far, you get so much better results, especially for a shot like this with wife trackers and also with other tracking system. It's difficult not to have like sliding issues or whatever, especially at the beginning. You need a lot of practice, but because this is virtual only because we are working with virtual cameras, and this Vive Tracker is only controlling this camera here. Here, everything st sticks here and it really, really looks good. 
So you can also work with live footage. So not only with the pre-recorded footage I have here. Yeah, but I mean, wow. Yeah, of course it's 2D and we cannot go to, to the full extent to the side. Let me try this. Yeah, of course not like this. Space is limited, but that's not all. Because as you can see right now, I'm not only working with Unreal Engine, I'm also working with Eximetry, this one here. This is also a live composition. I record this while I'm talking and I share also my screen here, how this looks like. So this is how Eximetry looks like. It looks complicated, but it's not. It's easier than Unreal Engine and it has also some advantages over Unreal Engine. For example, here, right now, I receive the lighting from the Unreal Engine scene, so the red lighting. When I turn this off, um, you can see that's my real lighting. Yeah, but I have red lights in the scene, so I'm receiving this. This is my green screen footage right now. Uh, I cropped it, I keyed it out, and um, got my final picture. Um, yeah, I had some virtual cameras here as well in the scene. Yeah, you can see cameras are moving. The same approach what I showed you before in Unreal Engine, um, with the difference that Eximetry has, yeah, well, this with the slide feature, like other color correction features, and also here, like a nice light drop. And that's the next step, that's the third step I highly recommend to do when starting with Unreal Engine, uh, so with virtual production. So again, the first one was just Unreal Engine with the sequencer. The second one, get a tracker, for example, a wire and control your virtual camera. The third step is try Eximetry. You can try this for free. It's watermarked, but it works 100%. And you definitely have to give it a try because for virtual production, it has some features that are really better than with Unreal Engine. And the thing is, and now we come to step number four, you can use the Intel T265 sensor with Eximetry. You cannot use it um, native with Unreal Engine. It's, it's this one. So it's actually cheaper than the Vive trackers. For example, when you get the Vive trackers, so at least you spend like uh, two, four, six hundred dollars. So um, I found this one also for $179 on eBay before. Right now it's at a higher price tag because they say maybe they will stop to make it. I'm not sure they said they stopped making it in January. Now it says on March, I have no idea. The thing is, this tracking quality is so much higher quality than the Vive trackers is stable. Um, it's cheaper. I mean, what do you want? And in Eximetry, I just changed the camera. Yes, and this is here the tracking from this sensor and it's it works like magic. Yeah, I can show you my room here. Let me go full screen again. I'm here behind this this monitor. Yeah. And here are my other monitors. I love it. <laughs> I do have some courses on my website where I share all these workflows. Uh, well, I have much more workflows, but I highly recommend starting just with this Unreal Engine virtual camera workflow and you can exactly build the same bar scene that I created. You also get my footage, you get some virtual characters, you can recreate exactly the same bar scene that I created using Unreal Engine and really start from scratch. Also, if you never use Unreal Engine before, whatever, we start with the very basics. We go through everything step by step, very easy. You can always get in touch with me to chat if you have any questions. And most important, I hope you enjoy the journey as much as I do. I promise it's so much fun and it's definitely the best thing that I've ever started. Okay, so yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you. This workflow, Unreal Engine, then with the Vive trackers, then with Aximetry, you should give it a try. It's free when you try it. And um, also then with this Intel T265 tracking sensor. So thanks so much for watching. I hoped that helped a little. Um, I'm looking forward to see one of my courses and of course in the next video.